If we run to him, 
Hallelujah. We give the Lord praise. We thank the Lord for the lives in this place. Kovu, the Lord bless you. We greet you in the name that is above every name. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We have gone around this city. We have looked around. We have made some observations. And based on our observation, we present, we will present the gospel of Jesus to you. God loves you dearly. He has brought us here purposely to share his heart and his love with you. Wherever you are, if you can hear our voices, please pause a little bit and give attention to this glorious gospel. Many of you may not have heard the word of God in this fashion before. We thank God you are alive today. And if you ignore this great gospel of Jesus Christ and the love of God, you will have yourself to blame in eternity. The reason why we are excited to be here is because every human being born into this world will live forever. Even if you vacate your body, whether they cremate you, they bury you, whatever they do with your body, you will live forever. So it is better to pay attention what happens beyond the graves. So men and women of Coville, the creator of the heavens and the earth, has favored you. He has sent us here to bring you his words in order to save some of you. Those of you who will not have in your heart going around will perceive that in all things you are, many of you are religious, some of you are superstitious, some of you claim to be ritualists, and yet others believe in nothing. Some say they are atheists, there are temples that have been labeled otherwise. But whatever be the case, whatever your belief is, I want you to pay attention because you might be living on the wrong side of life. It is because of you God has brought us over here to bring the gospel to you. Whatever your belief, 
whatever your practices, you have to hear this because God will hold you responsible. And you cannot say, I didn't hear them. And since you are all aware of the consequences of our devotion, whatever you are devoted to, we are here to present to you the God you have not known. Many of you have heard about him, but you don't know him. Jesus said in his days that the queen of the south will rise in judgment against that generation. Because somebody wiser than Solomon came and they didn't listen. But the queen of Saf made a whole journey to go and listen to Solomon. Now, I'm sorry to let you know that the queen of this country, year after year, declares this country a Christian country. So because of that, he has put this whole country under the laws and regulation of God. And because of that, God will hold every British responsible as being coming from a Christian nation. Apart from that, your national anthem, your very national anthem, says God bless the queen. Your very national anthem, there is God in there. And you all sing it. So this God you are asking to bless the queen is the same God we have brought to you. He's not interested in only blessing the queen. He wants to bless you. Those of you who are sided with the devil, I want to tell you what the devil will do to you and where you will end up. If you claim you are a witch, you are a wizard, you follow Halloween, you follow all kinds of superstition, you are in big trouble. Because the demon spirit, the devil spirit behind that, they have already confessed their destiny. It is ignorant for any man or any woman to claim friendship with Satan or evil spirits. Or claim to be a witch or a wizard or even go to the synagogue of superstition and all kinds of things. God loves all of you. But today you are alive, tomorrow you will be gone. There are people who live like you, who did not give a toss about the gospel today. They are crying from the pit of hell, begging to come back and listen to preachers like us so they will turn to God. If you live a life without God, an aborted child is better than you. If you live without God and you die without God, it will be better if your mother and your father never gave birth to you. You might not know how serious it is. That's why we are telling you. This is why Jesus became man. He didn't become man for fun. There is something at stake. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. He does not dwell in temples made with hands. He does not dwell in the witchcraft den. Stop following witchcraft and wizardry and all this myth. There is a God who created you in his image. He loves you so much. He wants to spend eternity with you. But many of you are already far away from him. If you are far away from God in this life, you will be far away from him when you breathe your last breath. They can take your body to the church a priest can do all they want to do. It's foolishness. They can do whatever. That will not change your verdict. Once you breathe your last breath, you are gone. And if Jesus is not your Lord and personal Savior, I'm sorry to let you know that you will be resurrected. Everybody will live forever. You will live forever. A time is coming and everybody in the graves will hear the voice of Jesus and come alive, but some to everlasting life and some to everlasting destruction. Then death will not hide you. Graves will not have hide you. And I will let you know, if you haven't heard this, you better pay attention. Whether you are shopping or not, you may come out and hear what I'm saying. The graves will betray you. The graves will give you up to be judged. But before we go to that, I want you to hear what evil spirits says about Jesus. If you give attention to them and you serve them, they will destroy you. Before we tell you the love of God, we want to tell you about if you are not a child of God through Jesus, you are property of the devil. Okay? No qualms about that. You should be happy we are telling you this. Don't be proud in your arrogance. 
But there is a way out for you. As long as Jesus is not your Lord and personal Savior, you might be baptized, you might be attending church, whether you are Catholic or you belong to Church of England, whatever you belong to. If you have not given your life to Jesus, you are not a property of God. People of COVID, God has visited your city, has sent us over here. We have come miles because God put you on our hearts to come and speak to you. God wants to save you. Now listen to the voice of the evil spirits. Many of you, I'm sorry to say, you have some of these spirits inside of you. Some of you, they are tormenting you. We look through the shopping mall, this small shopping mall, and you see the symbol of death all around. They call it Halloween. How can you celebrate death and witchcraft and wizardry and cemetery? We have no nothing in common with them. If you make them your friends, they will destroy you. Listen to the voice of evil spirits. And you better line up yourself with Jesus. Look at their Look at the confession of evil spirits. If you are not a child of God through Jesus, I'm sorry to say you belong to them. But this afternoon you can shake yourself up. Out of your hands. Hallelujah. If we don't believe this, we won't come here. Somebody has to be saved today. You have to be set free. You have to come to Jesus and be saved. In the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 23 to 26, the word of God says, and there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. Unclean spirit are evil spirits. Evil spirit, they torment people. They make people take drug. They make people drink. They make people smoke. They make people do all kinds of horrible things. Unclean spirits, they don't make you live clean. They torment you. They make people do bad things. They make people swear. They make people angry. They give you the spirit of anger. There was this man who had unclean spirit. And when he met Jesus, he cried out saying, let us alone. The evil spirits in this man, destroying this man. When they met Jesus, they said, let us alone. Leave us alone. They have taken residence in this man. They are destroying the man. Evil spirits make us sick. God did not create sickness for us. God did not create disease for us. God did not create paralysis from us. God didn't want anybody to grow old. God never created us to have wrinkles. God never created us to die. It is our disobedience. We disobey the voice of God. We have chosen our way. These spirits, evil spirits were destroying this man. And when they met Jesus, he said, leave us alone. We are comfortable in him. Oh, I wish you don't have anything of this in you. Leave us alone. Many of you deep inside of you, you are crying for help. You are a chronic alcoholic. You don't know what to do, but Jesus can set you free. Hallelujah. Jesus can set you free. That is why we are here. Freedom will be yours. You will be set free from these spirit beings. He said, let us alone. What have we to do with you? You see, if you don't have, if you have evil spirits in you, you will have nothing to do with Jesus. We are not talking about religion. If you say, I don't want this religion, there is question mark. The evil spirit said, leave us alone. We have nothing to do with you. Do you have nothing to do with the word of God? Do you have nothing to do with church? Do you have nothing to do with God? There is something wrong. Hello? Evil spirits said, Jesus, we have nothing to do with you. Oh, I wish you have a lot to do with Jesus. Are you hearing me and you have nothing to do with Jesus? Then there might be a little bit out inside there. There might be a little bit of what I'm talking. Somebody say, shut up. Come on. Evil spirit said, leave us alone. We have nothing to do with this God. Shame, isn't it? But that's why they are evil spirit. But you are not. And they said, you Jesus of Nazareth, have you come to destroy us? Please listen. 
The evil spirit in this man said, have you come to destroy us? Evil spirits know they will be destroyed. But poor human beings we don't know will be destroyed. Evil spirits know they will be destroyed. And if Jesus is not on your Lord and personal Savior, I'm sorry to say, you will be destroyed together with them. And that's why we have come to tell you there is a way of escape. God doesn't delight in destroying you. God is after these evil spirits. God has declared war on sin. Sin, not human race. God loves us. He created us in his image. You did not evolve from anything. Evolution is nonsense. Nothing comes from nothing. Nothing comes from nothing. You know your shoe was made by somebody. How can you say the word, this organized word, this beautiful word, came out of nothing? It's foolishness. It's foolishness to believe evolution. Somebody should have stopped Charles Darwin when he was bubbling his brains around. Somebody should have given him a little knock. His brain would have fallen in place and he would think right. Hallelujah. Nothing comes from nothing. Everything was created. Can you ever tell your children mobile phone, there was a big bang and then mobile phones begin to scatter all around foolishness. Nothing comes from nothing. Somebody invented things and created things. This beautiful world of us was created by God. This God who loves you dear. He created you, he breathed his spirit into you. If he takes his breath today, you will be a dead being. Evil spirit said, have you come to destroy us? God has not come to destroy us. He has declared war on evil. And Jesus rebuked the spirit, saying, hold your peace and come out of him. The evil spirit said, we know you will destroy us, but our time has not come yet. It's not yet time. Beloved, God has set a time when he will end all the foolishness in this world. This world rulers, messiness around, they will stand before God and they will account before God. All the lies they have told us. All these politicians, they are not bigger than the laws of God. God loves you people of COVID. God loves you dearly. And he has sent us over here to come and tell you he loves you. He wants to spend eternity with you. Listen, if you think you have a beautiful house or you have a beautiful life, you haven't seen anything yet. Because God said, this world we live in, it will only yield tongues and tissues. Whatever you think you are enjoying in this life is nothing compared to where you will go. If you die without Jesus, I'm sorry for you. You will go to a horrible place. A very horrible place. I have five minutes to tell you, and then I will let my son take over. Please don't die without Jesus. Don't live without Jesus. Don't live without Jesus and die without Jesus. It will be better if you never step into this world. It will be better, whether you are young or old. Please pay attention. The book of Revelation. This is the final destiny of Satan. And guess the people. Look at the people that will follow Satan. If you live without Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you will follow Satan to everlasting punishment. God said, the people that forget God will be tossed into the lake of fire. The people, the nation that forget God, all you have to do is take God out of your life and live on the animal's plane. Take God out of your life and you will be, you'll be spinning eternally, eternally. That's sad. That is sad. You live once, when you breathe your last breath, where are you spending eternity? Where are you going from here? Where do you come from? Where do you go? You know that song? Where are you going from here? You think you are going home? Where would you spend your longest holiday? When you vacate your body, where are you going? Some people say, when I die, I die. Who told you that? When you die, it's not over. Now, let's listen. What happened beyond the grave? 
why you need Jesus, why Jesus came. You know Jesus went to the grave and he came back. There was a request from the graves. When people die and we bury them, we say they are resting in peace. I'm sorry to, to, to pass your bubble. Nobody rests in peace who die without Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. It's a lie. You don't rest in peace. There is no peace in the grave for anyone who die without Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. There is no peace. They can write over there, R-I-P, it's a lie. There is no rest in the grave for anyone who died without Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. And that's why you need to pay attention. We have three days with you. God has sent us over here to come and talk to you for three days. After three days, you won't see us again. But these three days, take decision before it's too late. We only have three days. We don't come from here. God spoke to us and sent us over here to come and speak to some of you because you are living without God. Many of you, you don't have much life to live. You don't have much life to live. You will wish you will live a little longer. But we don't know who you are. Many of you may not live longer. So you need Jesus now before it's too late. We love you so much. We were excited to be here. We have driven hours to get here to come and tell you because God loves you. God wants to save somebody. Listen to where you will go if you die without Jesus. Young lady, the Lord bless you. Take decision for Jesus. The devil who deceived the world was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophets are and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Then I saw a great white throne and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away, and there was far no place for them. And I saw the dead, I saw the dead, not the living. So if people think when you die, it's over, it's a lie. Your grandparents, your parents, whoever has died, and you bury them, you visit their tombs once a year, and you think they are resting in peace. If they die without Jesus, they are not resting in peace. This you, this you send shivers into your spine. They are not resting in peace. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works which they did on the earth, by the things which were written in the books. Every single thing you are doing in this life, there is a record in heaven. Every swear word, every nasty word, every vulgar word, every S word, every F word, everything you do, there is a record in heaven against everybody. Nothing will escape. If you don't believe, when Jesus made the bread and fish miracle, he told the people, gather every cross, make sure nothing is left. Nothing will escape God. Your life from the day you were born is all written in God's books. And after you have breathed your last breath, you will stand before God and God will open books don't take this for granted. Don't be arrogant. God loves sinners, but he has declared war on sin, not you. And as long as you are holding on to sin, sin will destroy you. This is why Jesus came. He didn't come here for recreation. He didn't come here for holiday. He did not come and become man for fun. He came, he hung on the cross, poured every ounce of blood in his body, to save us. It took the blood of the Son of God to save you. And if after all this, you walk out of this earth and you went into lake of fire, I don't know how I would describe you. We are not talking about religion. Do you have a relationship with God? And books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And by these things which were written in the book, the sea gave up the dead who were in it. Anybody who have died in the sea, the sea will give them up. Those who died in the Titanic, 
they will all come alive. Anybody, the grave will cough you up. Oh, it will be a wonderful day. Maybe they never told you this. They never they told they taught you some katinsi, but they never taught you the truth of the gospel. Death will not hide you. When you die without Jesus, you are not resting in peace. You are making provision. You have to be wise. If you are wise, you will have Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Don't live and die hopelessly without God in your life. Without Jesus. Those of you who are, have joined secret societies and witchcraft, and, and, and all those things show those places run for your life they are a gateway to hell they will lead you to hell hell is a temporal place of punishment for all those who did nothing with jesus it is temporal it's not final lake of fire is the final it is hotter than hell if you die without jesus as your lord and personal savior you'll be wide awake and you will suffer in hell there is no love over there there is no peace over there. There is no food over there. There is no rest over there. There is no oxygen. The wind will not blow cold like it. It is hot. You will suffer eternity. Oh, somebody hear me. Somebody listen. Somebody in COVID, listen. The churches, the Church of England refused to tell you this. The Catholic Church didn't tell you. They talked you about some purgatory. There is no purgatory. It is foolishness. There is no purgatory. There is no purgatory. If you die without Jesus, it would be better if you were never born. You are in trouble if you are living without Jesus. You said, I have the act. Listen. Without Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, it would be better if you were never born. You can choose not to believe that. But there are people who didn't believe that and they are already suffering over there. They wish they can come. You haven't seen anything yet. If you think you are suffering, you haven't seen. You call this one suffering. You, you don't know what is coming. If you knew what is coming, you will pay attention. You call it suffering, this life suffering. It's a joke. The sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and the grave delivered up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, each one, according to his works. And then death, the Hades, the grave, the cemetery were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. This is the second death. This is the second death. Somebody hear me. If you are born once, you will die twice. There is a second death. Hello, young woman. Hello, young woman. Joe, let him come. Let her come. Hello. Hello. Young lady. Please come. 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 Let's have a conversation. Listen. No, no, don't get frustrated. It might be because of you. It might be because of you, God has brought us over here. Don't be afraid. Listen. God has a plan. Oh. <laughs> You people don't know. God has a plan for your life. You might be doing something on the wrong side of life. There is a second death. If you are born once, you will die twice. This first death, we call death, is not death. It's the second death, which is real death. And that one is eternal. If you are born once, you will die twice. If you are born once, you will die twice. No, we love you. Listen, listen. We believe strongly God brought us here for a purpose. Don't take what we are telling you for granted. God, of all the cities in the United Kingdom, we could have gone somewhere else, but God directed our paths to come here and speak to you. Very soon there is an evacuation which is going to happen in this world. The greatest evacuation. One of these days, you will see the sky open. Jesus will be coming with the angels to take some people out of this world. And then 
every human being who is living over here and Jesus is not your Lord and personal Savior, you will regret being born. Bible said the only people who will be better are people who are not yet born. Hello, people of COVID. If we don't know this God we are talking about, we will not be here. We know his voice. We knew when he spoke to us. We love you. This is the second death. And whosoever snake, whosoever snake was not found in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire together with Satan. If you live for the devil, you will get the devil's reward. God is not me. God is not me. God loves you. Listen, God loves you so much. You are such a beautiful woman. Don't worry. Listen, listen. God loves you so much. Do you know, listen, do you know angels? Angels want to serve you. You are an angel. Do you know how much God loves you? Do you know you are the reason why Jesus came to die? You don't know. If you were the only person on this planet, then Jesus would still come for you. Can you look at what Jesus went through? What happened to your faith? What happened to you? You used to believe it. Okay. Okay, now. You have lost all these people. So that has made you bitter. Okay, I'm sorry to let you know. If you don't believe in Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, and accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, when your time comes to go, you will go to a worse place. No. It's the scriptures. It's, that is why Jesus came. That's why Jesus came. I will, I will let you read. Maybe you are not aware. No, even the grave will not hide anybody. It's sad. When people die without Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior, the angels of heaven and God himself. God said he doesn't delight in anybody's death. No, it's not about church. Now, let's go. Listen, your daughter is in heaven. How old was your daughter when she passed? All right. Okay, no, no, listen. No, now, now God's interest is you. You need, you need, you need, you need, you need God. No, no. You don't need human love. You don't need human love. Listen, let's read this together. Let's read together. And you are talking about people who are dead. Like who are dead. Look at that. I'm reading from here. It says, Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat upon him, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. So you are, the world doesn't see anything yet. The worst is yet to come. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. If you have not received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, your name is not in the book of life. No, it's, it's not. No. The Bible is not talking about Catholic. It's not talking about Church of England. It's not talking about Catholic. There is no Catholic in heaven. There is no Methodist in heaven. There is no Church of England in heaven. There is no Muslim in heaven. It, the only people who are in heaven is born again, spirit-filled people. Are you born again? If you are born once, yeah, if you want to be, then you better pay attention. Because if you are born once, you will die twice. Maybe they didn't tell you. They told you about purgatory. It's a lie. There is no purgatory. There is no in between. Okay, let's read on. It said, The sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them. And they were all judged, each one according to their words. The death and the cemetery, the Hades, were cast into the lake of fire. If you die without Jesus, She's not vulnerable. God, God, God will send him. 
No, I'm not preaching to you. And you are preaching what you preach. Yeah. Three ago, you're still preaching it, but it's not happening. Wow. You think it will not happen? Is that you know because God has the whole of eternity. Your lady, I don't know your name, but don't die without Jesus. Take Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. I've lost the son. I've lost the mom and dad. I mean, I understand where you're coming from. Say, not yours? No. Not yours. No, I'm not, I'm not. You are wrong. How am I wrong? How am I wrong? Your family relations you have lost, God is not the one who took them. It's the devil. Why don't you blame the devil? Wow. You see what the devil has made people? We're talking about the loving God. Who among us will give their only who among us will give their child their child to be to be killed for somebody? You will not do that. I could see the pain in people's heart. People said, I've lost my brother, I've lost my mother, I've lost my father. God is not responsible for all this. Why do people blame bad things on God? God is a loving God, He's a caring God, He loves you, that's why we are here. You are misunderstanding the love of God. He gave his only son. He gave his only son. They bruised him. Jesus suffered everything for you. So that you will spend eternity with him. How on earth would you blame death of your relations, your suffering, and everything on God? That doesn't sound right. God loves you. Bro, have you given your life to Jesus? Yeah. You are a child of God. Yeah. You have given your life to Jesus. Yeah. You know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Yeah. Are you filled with the Holy Spirit? Yeah. You know that if you bring your last breath today, you will be with God. Yeah. Amazing. Lock him up. Thank you. Joe. The Lord bless you. We didn't mean to make anybody sad. We are here to share the love. I could see the violence in the heart of the old man. He nearly even punched me if you could. Wow. Because he loved his he, he lost his brother and son. Listen, we are dying because of disobedience to God. And God is warning us that there are there is a second death. We are here because of the second death. Don't die twice. The second death is worse. Hallelujah. Job. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, Colville. We're here to lift up the name of Jesus. I don't know if you know Jesus Christ, but he is my best friend. He is the King of kings and the laws of laws. We didn't come here because we don't know the living God, but we came to let this city know that there is a God in heaven that came down through Christ Jesus to save humanity. Hallelujah. And you see, today there's a sin problem. And Jesus Christ came to deal with that sin problem. And today, Jesus Christ wants to forgive you from every sin that you've done and give you a new beginning, a new life. Hallelujah. Because many people throughout this pandemic have been going through so many things. But we came to bring hope to Colville today because Jesus Christ is alive. Hallelujah. The love of God is here today for you. Hallelujah. That you can know that he cares about you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice. Take joy, my King. In what you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Does anybody love Jesus? I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you. 
Oh my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in watching. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Oh, cover the love, Jesus. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice. To worship you, oh my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, and watch you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear, oh God, let us adore Him. For him alone. 